Hi, please do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button. Okay, we have last but certainly not least uh, uh, of this series, seven out of seven. This is our last uh, divine question that we're asking the inner dragon. What is the potential of humans and inner dragons relationship? Very, very powerful. We have worked our way through some very incredible questions. And I just kind of want to swing back around to the fact that um, threes are really super important to me. Um, it came up in frequencies in one of the call the the questions in one of the videos in this series. Um, I also want to mention that it's mine, yours, ours. It is the past, present, and future, beginning, middle, and end into infinity beyond. It's the holy trinity. It is the me, myself, and I, the little you, the physical body, and the higher self. And it's also the inner child and the human body and the inner dragon, just really kind of cool energy. And uh, another one that it is too, is the, um, me, myself, and I, I can't remember what it is now, but there's so many of them. So I'm um, just uh, kind of stepping into that. So the inner child is that part of us that has been protecting us. It is the big time protector. It is often why we speak the way we speak or react the way we react as an adult. It's because our inner child has still holding on to the reins of how we're reacting. Our inner dragon is waiting to be unleashed or uh, let go, meaning um, it's, to give free reign to, I guess, if you will. And the inner dragon is the action taker. It also protects the inner child. It helps foster that inner child so that it can grow up and heal from these traumatic events, from these thoughts and things that it's witnessed, whether it's heard, seen, or felt. Um, uh, that's what the inner dragon helps our inner child with. And then we have this beautiful balance of uh, between our heart space and our head space. So the card that came up for this was number, uh, first of all, in that, whoops, in the deck, the Dragon Path deck, the Caroline Mitchell. Uh, it was, first of all, really, really interesting how this deck really asked to be worked with during this readings. And I worked with uh, one, two, three, four, five different decks during this um, incredible reading around the inner dragon energy. Uh, so I found it fascinating that this called for three cards. <laughs> There's that three again, right? So first of all, the card that came up was number 12. Number 12, sing singled is who it is. Okay. And uh, first of all, this dragon is one of 16 earth walk dragons uh, of this deck. Okay. Um, they're the largest clan in here. And each dragon in this section, this part of the clan, the earth walk dragons, the empowerers. So we're being empowered when this relationship grows between the human and the inner dragon. And um, each dragon in this clan has a nobility of an old war horse, big in heart, kind of eye and huge in power, yet quiet and brave. <clears throat> The Earthwalker clan, Earthwalk clan will often represent the action we need to take within our physical reality. And so we'll go over and look at um, number 12, Singhold, in just a moment. Um, this may be in the area of personal growth, healing, uh, exploring our potential, or simply accepting that we all work in a progress, learning, exploring, healing, and developing. Uh, we wouldn't be complete without our spiritual aspects. So they also empower us to seek our spiritual pathway to follow our hearts and be open to the possibilities of the universe. Um, that's where we learn how to ask questions. That's where we learn how to ask for help. Um, we've done a couple processes over these last six videos before we got to, to this one. And uh, it's been really magical to learn both for myself and how to um, help humans understand that inner dragon portion in a much more powerful way. Uh, they're all about guiding us. The earthwalk dragons are all about guiding us to fulfill both our physical and spiritual potential under their wisdom, gently guiding wings, anything is possible. And they encourage us, 
us to believe that miracles do happen. So Singhold is this incredible, it looks like a, a possibly a white serpent dragon right here. You can feel the magic and the power in him. There's that beautiful energy vortex that I've talked about in one of the previous calls in this series. Um, and my, my inner dragon, my own inner dragon, when I connected with my inner dragon, it was very much a blue water dragon. Uh, my girlfriend, Tina, um, her dragon, when she asked about it, it literally, it was almost like it exploded from her, her heart space. It then re, um, rewove itself into the energy of herself. It could be something really holy cow, or it could be something very subtle when we start to connect in with this inner dragon energy. So this is so powerful because I have a program called Discover You, the Incredible You. And one of the things that part of the group is working on right now, and it's something I was very conscious of over this last couple of days. And if you've been following the videos, you know that I've had something really major happen in my life here of late. Um, in essence, my truck's engines blew and um, it has to now be towed home. Well, that tow home is a six hour tow. Um, having said that, the company who did the original repair 1500 kilometers ago, um, are actually stepping up and helping out with this. Yesterday was an extremely emotional day for myself. And today I'm choosing to walk in tens. Even yesterday, I'm choosing to look at, okay, where are my tens that happened yesterday? Yesterday, I uh, went to a farmer's market. I saw a sign that says, you are loved. I um, had an incredible Mexican burrito from the taco place here in Revelstoke, British Columbia. I am... Um, uh, I spoke to a stranger, uh, you know, there's just today I saw all these incredible artwork in back alleys and took pictures of that. I created a reel on Instagram today on my um, the Sandini Sandra Instagram account that was all about flowers today. And the one that I created the other day was all about back um, murals that I've spotted in Kelowna in the Rutland area, British Columbia. And so I can feel how I am actively looking for tans. I'm actively looking and walking in the, the energy of miracles. Okay. So review your life to date and find things to be grateful for. So the relationship that we can have with uh, inner dragon is to really recognize the things that we are grateful for, to walk in gratitude is what Singhold is really bringing in in a very powerful, powerful way. So um, accept the niggling doubts, admit that they're there, and then, uh, then you can just, you know, in essence, I guess the easiest way to describe this is I've experienced a lot of uh, pain in my life, probably for about 16 years because I was always injuring myself. However, the sooner I acknowledged that I was in pain, the sooner it actually, uh, um, it decrease because my mind was able to then go on to something else. Once I acknowledge that I had that, then it went, my mind went somewhere else. If I don't acknowledge it, I just ignore it. Then it just keeps festering and growing. So we're being asked to recognize our doubts or, or whatever they are. And then we can let go of them because they're not going to fester in ourselves as much as they did before. So you have no need to dwell there for they are part of your past and are no longer relevant to your current life. Instead, revel in the pure joy of being alive, like I did yesterday. Yes, I had an emotional um, hour and a half, um, but I'm telling you, on, on the other part of that, I was living life to the fullest, even in my driving my truck at 60 kilometers an hour, um, with semis like inching by doing 80 kilometers an hour, 100 kilometers an hour. Um, yeah, I was living life to the fullest, even in those moments, even as, even as I was trying to find a mechanic to look at my truck and find out what was going on. Um, it's how you choose to react. OK, that's what SIG holds all about, the gratitude, right? So uncover the things to rejoice about. Do that which lifts your heart to bring forth your deep inner smile from within. Uh, and I'm um, I'm just really proud of uh, this current program that I have people going through in because one of them has really powerfully stepped into recognizing every single day 
what their tens are, what their sevens are, what their ones are, and really stepping into the the power of some mantra work and breath work. And it's just really incredible to witness. Uh, she made a comment to me yesterday in an audio message that said that, um, uh, I can't remember what she said exactly, but it was the smile. Oh, I know what it was. She, in, in, in essence, what she said is she's not in her head so much anymore. Wow. Hey, being in your heart space is so powerful. So seek a totem to act as a uh, reminder. Um, I know that I had a bear bracelet that I wore for six solid years. Uh, I just recently uh, probably, uh, yeah, it's five solid years. I wore that, that bear bracelet. I, I have to go home and find it because it's been really tugging at my heartstrings to find it again and to start wearing it again in some form. Um, neurographic artwork seems to be something that is my totem right now. It's doing these artwork. Uh, what else is a totem for myself right now? Um, my mountain bike shirt, MTB, mountain bike, right? Um, the things that really are pulling me in the direction that I want to go. Um, it could be something as small as a shell or a crystal as well. I set up an altar when I got to the hotel room yesterday because of the energy that I was sitting in. I wanted to increase that and bring up the vibration of that. You're learning the lessons of gratitude. You're exactly where you should be now. Okay. And so uh, funny that I say that because I was using the word should and need today and saying, oh, I don't need to be using the word should and need. And yet I was energetically walking into the, that, that in a, empowered manner so think chant write or sing enjoy happiness peace laughter right it's like you see me smile smile with me right uh i watched this little video of this little infant child and somebody was going T -t 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 on its cheek and it finally grinned this little baby and i'm sure it was just you know, so very, very young and little. I, I imagine it was maybe six weeks old, but it had this beautiful little smile on its face. That, that, live through that, experience that. We talk about living in the energy. That's what we're doing is living in this beautiful energy of what we want and how we want to feel on a permanent basis, right? Count your blessings until an attitude of gratitude <laughs> resides in your heart. I love that. So that's what sing hold is all about. The inner dragon energy is really helps you to begin to understand your life in a completely different way. The relationship that you can have because you choose to walk this path with your inner dragon is absolutely magnificent. Um, I really hope that you've enjoyed this series as much as I have enjoyed um, asking, how do I bring forth inner dragon for others? My own path is so new in this inner dragon energy that I was stumbling. I needed to learn all about it first. And that's what you're being invited to do is when you're stumbling, ask, ask for help, ask your inner dragon, ask someone like myself, step into being in a receiving place because once we learn how to ask and to receive the whole world opens up in an entirely different manner. Again, I'm just so grateful that each and every one of you are here during my dragon tales. Uh, yes, this has been included in that. It's um, this is number seven of seven in a series of seven. Ideally the uh, YouTube links are all included in the post so that you can experience all of these, no matter where you're coming in and catching this. Have a magical, beautiful rest of the day and know that I do see the incredible you and you, and I would love to help you discover you. Okay. Thank you.